shall I tell you about the founding of the Oval Office? Because that was really Victoria's baby. That was her idea. And she started it because uh, she had gathered some women together, quite all, pretty much, I think, all the Kennedy School women students in the rotunda. And she was talking with them. And she said, um, well, how many people here are interested in running for office? One hand went up. One hand. That's when she knew she had to start something. I viewed the one hand going up either as social pressure, that people felt women weren't allowed to publicly share their political ambition, or perhaps that the environment wasn't allowing them to express it and it was muffled within themselves. It's so hard, I think, often for women, we're socialized to be um, in the back of the room. Probably one of the most transformative lessons that I learned while I was in the program was just around how afraid I was to ask for what I needed. I wasn't sure whether I should even apply for the program because I didn't know that I definitely wanted to run for office. I didn't know that I definitely wanted to put myself in that position. How do you raise all that money? How do I, you know, keep a day job and also run for office? Am I good enough? Do I know enough? Can I win? And those are all really important questions and reasonable questions, but they're not the right questions. The right question is what will be lost for my not having participated? That's that's rare for, for women. It's rare for members of minority groups to have that kind of vision for themselves. And Oval Office makes it real. At the very beginning, we all ran around a circle and said our names, where we were from, and also what our goals were, what our, our ambition was. And I remember just being so inspired by all of the women from all over the world looking to run for office at all different levels and have different kinds of impact. It really is something about being around that caliber of, of student and particularly women who were equally ambitious and unafraid of their ambition. Even if I was a woman, I could still make it into politics. Um, it sounds very obvious. It sounds, you know, not that great, but it is really a mindset change that is deeply important and that really changed my life. It allowed me to bring clarity to who I am and what I wanted to accomplish and what I'd been accomplishing, also recognizing and valuing the experiences I have had. You know, it's a different type of self-confidence that you get um, in this program, I think, than really from anywhere else in your professional life. I remember Victoria Butson talking about taking up space behind a podium. How to just be strong and just, you know, sit there and, and just not feel shy. Making sure that you take your seat at the table uh, and not being afraid to do that. Obviously the information was great, but the solidarity was really the, the best part for me. I ended up losing that sense of competitiveness and just being overcome with gratitude to be in a space with other women who were striving to change the world. I would have had nowhere to start without this program. I started uh, very, very nervous in the program and immediately realized that this was not only going to be a training program, but a network of support, of friendship, of sisterhood. Sisterhood really matters. Having a community of people who are supporting you in your run for office is, is integral to success. I have personally supported women who have gone through the program, even though they're not even in my state, because they are part of the Harvard network. We're just like a, a big family. Even if we're not physically there, we can support online through social media, um, through fundraising opportunities. It has not it's not only grown itself, it's grown by spreading across the world. Don't stay on the sidelines. Take that risk, get in the game, put your name on a ballot. The entire world needs you. We really need you. You can do this. I urge you all, all of you, go out there and, and create your justice campaign. You'll find that you can go really far. Don't worry about who are you to run for office? Who are you not to run for office? We have seen that there has not been uh, enough investment in women over time. And for that reason, women lag behind in so many areas. 
You are investing in successful women who have all the skills, the talent, and the willingness to really change the world. And we are facing such complex challenges that we need that sort of women. We cannot do without them. We all know that an investment in women is an investment in our community, and in turn, it's an investment in our world. And that impacts not just those women, not just their network of friends, it impacts generations.